Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2021. We are continuing our Journeyman a Glory Hunter series with Amiens SC in uh, the French League One. Officially, I guess it's called League One Uber Eats. So there you go. Um, we are, this is our first season in uh, one of the premier leagues that we are actually trying to win. So this is, this is a big deal. Uh, this is our sixth season overall. So it took us five seasons to get through all of the early stuff to get into a premier league, you know, of the top five uh, nations team, which is pretty awesome. I feel like they actually worked out pretty well. Now, that being said, we're not in a necessarily good team, um, at least not for this level. So we definitely have our work cut out for us. And, um, it's going to be a hard fight this year, I think, to, to stay up. Um, but if we can stay up, I think that gives us enough of a reason to make a name for ourselves to maybe push for a better job somewhere. Um, so not quite, the work's not quite done yet because we're not in a team that can win the whole thing yet. But uh, a big chunk of the work is done that we've actually made it into this league. So uh, today we'll be playing FC Lorient and LOSC. Uh, FC Lorient is slated by the preview to be 11th in the league. And LOSC, I think, is fourth or fifth or something like that. So they're a really good team. And then we play Paris, Paris SG, number one team in the league. Um, that's going to be a impossibly hard game. Uh, OM is also a team, I think, that's in the near the top as well, if I remember correctly. And you guys, again, probably know these teams better than I do. Uh, yeah, OM is number six. So yeah, there's LO LOSC is actually fourth. Uh, OM is sixth. Um, of course, Paris SG, number one. That's not, not a big surprise. Uh, there's FC Lorient. So, I mean, FC Lorient is maybe within striking distance of us. Uh, we, we could possibly escape with a draw here, but, um, we just got to get points where we can. I mean, that's, that's really the big deal. Uh, here's the team that we're going to be bringing today. Uh, I kind of went back and forth, went over a few things and decided that this is the team we're going to go with for now. Um, we're going to leave Lagarby in here. Uh, I think he's, he's played well enough for us in the past. I'd like to see if he can keep it up at this level. Uh, also partially because Okolo is currently injured, who would normally might be in that position or we can move some people around. But a lot of these guys, like I said, last episode are very interchangeable. So we have a lot of options in our team. Uh, we've got Lefay on the bench today. Um, this is actually uh, the team that he came from. So this would be a rematch for him. I would like to bring him in as a sub, like plan to bring him in. Um, but we're going to give Oristanio a chance to start things off with. Um, other than that, uh, what else did I want to change around? I don't think there's anything else. We are bringing uh, Haji in here um, because, you know what? I actually don't like the fact that, let me change something real quick. Because I just realized, I don't know how these these measurements are, are, are measured. Um, let's do, do, do formats. Uh, I'm actually going to change this to Fahrenheit. Weekly's fine. Centimeters, we're going to do this in feet because I just, I wouldn't understand it if it's not. And we'll do pounds. Um, I mean, meters, distance is fine. Kilometers, all that kind of stuff is okay for me. That's that stuff I'm okay with. It's just, I don't know how tall 189 centimeters is. <laughs> I really don't. So I need to be able to see it in feet and stuff. I know, silly American. I'm okay with the euros as well because I kind of like that. But just give it to me. And I, if I think if I was actually an a, a actual football manager for one of these teams over there in Europe, I'd have to like carry around my calculator everywhere and be like, okay, what's the conversion for that to feet and inches? Cause it doesn't make sense to me. All right. So Haji here is, um, six foot two. Oh, that's pretty tall. Okay. So there we go. That makes sense. I think Ponte is probably what, close to six feet. Yeah. Right at six feet. So got a couple good tall guys there. We were going to bring story in. How tall is story? Story is six one. He's actually pretty tall as well. So all of these guys are pretty tall. We got a pretty decent, decently tall, um, Central defenders. Um, how's our wingbacks going? Six foot three. Wow, he's our tallest dude right there. Five seven. Oh, poor Berard. Oh, five seven. That's, that's shorter than I am in real life, and, and I'm not super tall. So, um, poor guy. But hey, you know, he runs fast. He does good stuff. How's, how's our striker? Six foot four striker. Uh, should we be using him as a target man? I mean, that's a really tall dude. Like, I mean, for real, should Borelli be a target man? <laughs> I mean, he actually does play target man well. I'm tempted. Well, I don't know. It's yellow, and let's uh, let's change this to. Um, I mean, we're playing in a Premier League team, so there's going to be some defenders that are pretty tall. 
But six foot four is pretty tall. I mean, there's not a lot of people that are that are that much taller than six foot four. I mean, you know, like outside professional basketball and stuff like that, get people going up to seven foot, obviously. Um, in fact, how tall is? Let's see if we go look at. What am I looking for? Competitions? No, team report probably, right? Um, Harrison? Yeah, there we go. Um, oh, there's some really tall dudes. <laughs> there's some really tall guys in this league. Oh, okay. My little six foot average here is no even close to the highest average in Luger, the, the Uber Eats. Uh, so yeah, there's some really tall people in the Uber Eats. Like, what, what's this rating? Like, if this is six foot, I'm confused. What is the average? Like if this is six foot and it's half, like, obviously this is, can't be proportional because this is like halfway to that. Am I misreading this? Is the average not that green line at the top? No, it's average is the green line at the top. Highest average in league one. I wish I knew what this was. Well, like what this level was, uh, defense. We do have the highest average striker, though. Um, so that's something. All right, you know, we might we might play him as a target, man. Why not? What, what, what's going to hurt? Let's try it out. See what happens. Maybe maybe we can get something going here. Uh, let's go back to our tactics here. And let's make sure that we are in possession. We are... Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, not here. It's going to be under... Uh, oh, it's there, right? Okay, there we go. We want to float cross this because we're going to try and see if our height advantage, if we have a height advantage, which we may not, but we're going to see if we have a height advantage, if we can get something going there to get some good headers in off of our, uh, our really tall striker. So we'll try that out. Uh, how tall is our other striker that we would normally bring in? Like, who is our other striker? Honestly, we'd probably bring Oristanio up front and move Lafay back there. And he's, oh, he's only 5'10", so he wouldn't, he wouldn't do too good up there as a target man, but that's all right. Uh, speaking of corners and things like that, I probably need to clear this out and just reset. I'll just do a quick pick for now. That's going to be all right. But I just want to recycle the quick pick so that it actually picks people that we have currently on our team. I'm assuming this is based off of uh, some level of intelligence. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm assuming it factors in math. I mean, come on. Math is math, right? Uh, and penalties, we'll do the same thing because currently LaFay is the only one listed there. Borelli, yeah, I think I would like Borelli to be number one anyway. Um, although Oristanio can be number Yeah, these are pretty close. That's, that's pretty close to what I would normally do. Borelli, Oristanio, one of those two guys being first. Um, they're pretty close to being interchangeable. And then LaFay being third. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, other than that, if we want to go to corners... Man, I have not set this up. I've kind of just left it at default, which is probably not ideal. Uh, let's go to attacking corners and let's make sure that we bring our striker. Let's see here. I want to get to. I want to go for him. I want to go across to towards him if at all possible, because again, he's the tall guy that we're trying to get doing something. Could also go push him near post. But we'll try far post for now. We might change it out later. That, that's one change. It's not a big change, obviously, but we'll try something like that just to see if our striker can get something going from being that far away. It might be better to go near post and let him dread to something, but we'll try this first. All right. Um. So yeah. So here's a team: Parks on the left, Pontit, Haji on the middle, Barard on the right hand side. So obviously we're familiar with three of those four already, as well as our goalkeeper Anthony, uh, Part Harris, Part Harris. How do you say his name? Uh, coming in as the box box midfielder with Bandinelli coming in as the deep line playmaker. You guys wouldn't prefer to flip around, would you? You actually would. So we'll do that. I'll flip you guys around because Bandinelli. Um, yeah, Pert Harris is only a three, two and a half star box to box, but he's a three star deep line playmaker on defense. So we'll do that. Uh, Gomez coming in on the left hand side. New guy Gomez. We'll see what he can do for us as an inverted winger. Uh, he wouldn't prefer to be something else, would he? Inverted winger. He's actually slightly better than inside forward. So we'll leave him as inverted winger. That's fine. Oristanio comes in as our advanced playmaker, which is one of his best right up there with Shadow Striker, Trek, Trek, 
Trekarista, however you say that. Uh, and then Lagarde be coming in on the right-hand side in his normal row as well. And Borelli, he playing the target map today. See what happens. Um, we're playing a little bit more balanced mentality, so nothing crazy. And without further ado, let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I think it's going to be fun. Pleased to be making his debut. Well, good stuff. It's going to be, uh, I don't know, man. This is, this is going to be a tough, it's going to be a tough season. I think this is going to be a really tough season. Go out there and cause an upset. A little bit of motivation there. Am I excited? For sure. And if we can get a, if we can escape with a draw here, I, I think I would be pretty happy with that. A draw, especially since it's an away game for sure. But just getting some points, just getting some points on the board. Now, this is official, guys. This is it. We're on TV and everything. With all the pomp and circumstance. Okay, we'll skip to that. Come on, guys. Pretty quiet so far. We've had a couple shots, apparently two on target, actually. Three shots now, three on target, as well as three corners. I wonder if those were our three shots, four shots. We're getting some shots. I mean, that's that's something. No highlights yet, <laughs> but we're getting some shots. All right, here we go. Parks on the left-hand side. Are we gonna be able to see a good cross here? It's gonna go cross, across, across, across. <laughs> that's not me to double, double phrase that. Oh, we're not gonna be able to chase those one down in time. Augustine is able to come up with that ball. He's on his own for the moment, but he's going to have some help pretty soon. He does have a level help right now, all of a sudden. And early, man. Like, I felt like just based on some of the stats, it looked like we were doing pretty good. But, of course, they get the first highlight and they get the first goal. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. No clear offside. Oh, there was an offside. Oh, there we go. I love. Thank you, VAR. All right, come on, guys. That's a highlight for us. All right, we got a throw in here for another throw in for FCL. Lagarbi gets his head on that, but only had it as far as the other team, unfortunately. So it is still within their control at the moment. Uh, come on, Pontic gets his head on that one. Gomez is able to get to that one. Is he gonna be able to do anything with it? He's gonna run up the ball a little bit. He's got some people in front of him, which is uh, not sure what that was. I don't know if that was a strike or what. I mean, definitely wide right, but. Not sure if he was actually kicking a sh going for a goal or if he was just trying to get a pass and it just was a bad pass as well. Either way, it was bad. Come on, guys. Get a takeaway here. Oh, I thought Pert was going to get that one. There we go. Pert Harris does get that one now. He's going to kick it up to Borelli on the right-hand side here. He's supposed to be our target man. He's in the wrong spot if he's going to be a target man. Or Estiano. Bandinelli. Oh, Bandinelli does get a goal. First goal of the season. First goal of the game. First goal of our Premier League. First of everything comes from Bandinelli. And to think we were actually trying to get rid of him in during the offseason. Not, not because I didn't want to keep him, but I thought we could get a good price from him and get some good other good players with that money. Uh, I do like Bandinelli a lot, and I'm actually kind of glad he stuck around. Obviously, even, even more now. Um, but uh, I, I knew he was also going to be worth a lot. So that's the only reason I was trying to get rid of him is if I get some interest. And, and cycle him into new, two other really good players, you know, that might, might have been worth something. All right, so we're up one goal, nothing. Uh, we are doing pretty good. We've been controlling the XG this entire game so far, which is honestly kind of surprising. Um, I don't know that I expected this. Well, we're only up one goal, though, so anything could happen. At, you know, there's a throw-in from Berard. Lagarbi gets the ball. Unfortunately, he does get... Uh, deflected away, but Bandinelli comes up with that. And Pert Harris now backed over to Bandinelli. Back to Pert Harris. Pert Harris is going to get it over to Berard on the right-hand side. He's going to try to find our target man now, finally. No, he's not. Lagarbi's going to get the ball, though. Lagarbi back to Berard. Berard over to Gomez. Gomez just over the top of the bar. Ah, uh, I thought Gomez had that one. And that's the end of that. Uh, 60 minutes. So let's get us a sub here. I did, like I said, I do want to bring LeFay in at some point. We don't have to bring him right this second, though. Uh, we do have a yellow card on Pontit. We do have a yellow card on Pert Harris. I want to make sure these guys can play pretty pretty freely. I'm probably going to bring Pontit out for story here because I would like our defenders to be able to do what they need to do and not be afraid to tackle and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and do that for now. All right, 70 minutes. 
Got a yellow card for Berard now. Do we have anybody to come in for him? We do not. Haji could move over there, but we wouldn't have anybody to cover him. Pert Harris could come out for Toonjob, which actually I don't mind doing that at all. We'll go ahead and do that. All right, 75th minute. I'm going to go ahead and go down a little more cautious. See if we can hold on to this. All right, last sub of the game, uh, I think. I'm assuming we want to get one more sub. All right, Lagarby's pretty tired. We're going to bring Lagarby out. We're going to bring... We're actually going to bring Toonjov up to that spot so that I can bring Lafay in here. I do want to play Lafay. It's a team that he's played against before. I like to give him some game time here. Actually, you know, just to be sure, because I actually didn't check the rules. We can't do another sub, can we? Yeah, okay, good. I'll just make sure. It is three subs like like I say normal. It feels pretty normal. Come on, guys. Uh, shut it down to defensive here in the last just last overtime or not overtime uh, extra time here all right there we go um wow we controlled that game and we got the one goal that we needed that's all we needed that one goal uh we did get three yellow cards here um 15 shots though i mean you only get one goal from 15 shots though maybe that's not so good but no I, i'm i'm pretty happy boys played magnificently and uh we picked up a win against a team that i knew we could potentially win against i mean we got to pick up the goals we got to pick up the wins against those types of teams because we are going to lose some games this season. I mean, that's just inevitable. There's no way we have a, a team that's going to hold up against Paris SG. Why does Berard want to discuss personal matters? Berard. Unable to resolve it. Okay. All right, I'll go back to the original playing time, but I mean, you're going to get the play time. It's just, I was just loaning you from an important player down to a regular player because you might swap out a little bit. Oh, well, we'll, we'll make him happy. I don't want to make people to get upset. All right, Gomez makes his debut. Bandinelli shines. Get some good stuff from there. And uh, we finally, we solved the Berard issue. All right, we'll be right back for our game against uh, LOSC. Again, this is going to be a tough game. It's a really good team, so we'll see what happens. But it's a home game for us, so hopefully we can do something there. We'll be right back. All right, so we're back for our game against LOSC. And uh, here's the team we're going to be bringing in today. Just a couple small changes. Uh, we did have an injury to Lagarby, unfortunately, so he is out. Uh, so to make up for that, we have moved Gomez over to the right-hand side. Hurt Harris moves up to this inverted winger role on the left-hand side, which he's very capable of doing. Uh, and then uh, Dukura comes into play here alongside Bandinelli, which, of course, they've played very well together. So other than that, we got Parks, Pontet, Haji, Berard, Bandinelli, Dukur, Fred Harris, Oristanio, Gomez, and Borelli. So just those couple changes. Nothing else crazy. We are bringing Akalo here on the bench. He does seem like he could play a little bit. So we'll try and give him a little bit of time to maybe get some of his fitness back up. But other than that, this is it. Um, Going to be a tough game. Going to be a tough game. So let's go, guys. Um, uh, sure. We'll go ahead and add that instruction. That's fine. Go out there and press me, guys. A little bit of motivation. On our first game, guys. How'd they do? Did they lose or draw? They drew. They drew their first game. Okay. Looking like a familiar... Some, uh, uh, Formation. They got the same formation that we do. All right, come on, guys. Let's get some going here. All right, Pert Harris. Ooh, I thought we were going to have something there, but got taken away very quickly. So this is going to be a highlight for LOSC real quick in a hurry here. Uh, unless we can get a takeaway. Nothing yet. David with the ball. Gets it over to somebody whose name I cannot pronounce. And, ooh, that was almost a strike or goal there. Thankfully, it was wide right. And that was that highlight. Hello, it's all LOC so far today. In fact, we're getting another throw in, another highlight for LOSC here. Gomez gets his head on that one, but only as far as the LOSC players. Still well within their control. Parks gets his head on that one. Again, only as far as the LOC players. 
Gerard gets in front of that one. Uh, again, we cannot come up with this one. And we're defending well, just not getting the follow through. You know, the, the, the... Okay. Oh, come on. Clear this out. Come on. Come on. Don't, don't, don't penalty. No penalty. There we go. Bandit. No, there we go. Now we got some ball control here. Maybe I say control. I guess that was into that highlight. So nothing really there. All right, come on, guys. Let's get something going. Parks with the ball here. Over to Ponte. Back to Parks. Parks up to Bandinelli. Back to Parks. Parks is going to get it up to Oristanio. Oristanio. Back to Parks. Over to Borel. Borelli, sorry. Um, and it's going to be a corner kick for us here. We'll get to see if we can... Uh, well, apparently, we can't do anything with our corner kick. Maybe kicking it to the far post is too aggressive. Aureli's going to be able to come up with that one here. Gets it back to Parks. Parks to Pontet. Pontet back over to Parks. Back to Pontet. Up to Bendinelli. Back to Parks. Passing the ball pretty well, though, but not really attacking right now. Here we go. Now here's the attack. Oristanio pushing the ball up. Going to get over to Pert Harris on the left-hand side. It's not really going to have much room to cross here. He's going to get tackled away from but he's going to be able to get the recovery, though. Gets it back over to Bendinelli. Bendinelli over to Gomez. Gomez! Oh, I thought he had that one. Oh, Gomez coming in hot. But not able to get it below the bar. That would have been an outstanding goal, actually. Well, we're drawing against a really good team who is playing better than us at the moment. So, I mean, we'll take what we can get, I guess. Got some 10,000 plus fans in the stands today. Come on, guys. All right, we're going to do our first substitute of the day here. Um, really, our worst playing players are Berard right now and Borelli. We'll see. Do we have anybody coming for Berard? We don't, actually. Not on the bench at the moment. We could bring Haji over to there, to that side, which actually is probably okay. And go ahead and bring Story into here, here and I think that's going to be okay. Come on, guys. All right, do another substitute here. Uh, who are we going to bring in from Borelli? Don't really want to bring a Colo up to there. We're going to bring Oristanio up. The striking role. And we'll bring... We'll bring Lefay in here. Although we are going to change you back to something more traditional. I actually don't think you're that tall, are you? 5'10", no. Even the 6'3 that we've been using as the target man probably isn't tall enough. We probably need to go back to more traditional... Advance forward or deep line forward, something like that. In fact, we're just going to make you an attacking deep line forward. And go with that. We got a throw in here, deep in our side of the field. So this is kind of a scary place to get the ball taken away from us. Pert Harris over to Bandinelli. Bandinelli. Can we be able to find our striker today? Nope. Back to Pont it. Pont it. We go all the way over to nobody. And here comes LOC on the attack. This is a really bad play. I'm not feeling good about this. Haunted does get in front of that one. Story. Ooh, that was scary. Heading it back towards our goalkeeper, who thankfully was paying attention. Anthony kicking the ball deep up. It's not going to go to one of our players. And unless Park's able to come up with that one, he is. And he is going to get it over to Bandinelli. Bandinelli to Lafay. Lafay back to Bandinelli. Up to Oristanio. Oristanio back to the Decour. All the way over to trying to get it to Haji, but. Again, Bamba, that Bamba guy has stolen two of them so far on this one highlight. Uh, he's really just, <laughs> you know, reading the plays very well. And then he get, we get it up. Oh, my goodness. Scott, that was a bad. There's no excuse for a goalkeeper not stopping that one. That was like a slow crawl. Like, I don't know what that was. There's no excuse there. No excuse at all. That, he should have had that one, I think. I think he should have had that one. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, last sub of the game. Really don't have anybody that can come in here to make a difference, I don't think. We got a Colo here. Just for some fresh legs, if nothing else. You know what? He can play over here on this left-hand side. We know he plays well over there. 
Um, and then we're going to have to go up to like some sort of attacking thing or something just to try to get something back here. All right, let's go very attacking. And we're getting a highlight. Not sure if I'm going to like this, though. Gomez is in the area. Probably not going to be able to get on it. Nope. Of course, of course it goes to the other team. We just can't get anything going today. Which is expected. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I, I didn't expect to... To be honest, I didn't expect to win this game today. I knew this was a good team we're going up against. But I had, thought we had a chance because it was a home team. A home game, I should say. Maybe not a chance to win, but a chance to draw. Bandanelli with the corner kick. Gets it over to... Or, oh, Oristania was there. Uh... Probably should have changed the corner instructions if we're trying to go that far. In fact, I probably should just change them all together. I mean, going far post is pretty aggressive. Got to get past a lot of up, you know, extended arms and kick really hard to be able to get all the way over there. Lafay with the ball here. I mean, there is still a highlight going on here, which is surprising. Lafay goes for goal. I mean, he was on target, I think, but goalkeeper, goalkeeper played better. Come on, guys. Parks gets in front of that one. Only as far as uh, the other team again. Feels like the story of the day. Yay, we kicked it a far away to the other team. I mean, if you checked our pass percentage to the other team, I think it's pretty high, actually. All right. Parks is going to be able to get his head on that one again to the other team. Didn't get the penalty there, thankfully, but it is still under their control. Looks like this could be a goal here. I knew, saw that one coming. A mile away. Whale. Whale, whale. I mean, completely expected, but still had to hope, right? To be fair, we held him off for a big chunk of the game. I mean, to score, only give up score in the 80th minute. I'll take that most of the time. Really? You want me to tell them that they deserve to be in training tomorrow? I'm just going to say I'm not happy. I'm not going to tell them they have to be in training. I, that was not expected to win that game, guys. Well, we picked up points in the first two games, so that, I think, is a win. All right, well, we'll, uh, yeah, let's see. How many? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. So there are 10 months. Okay. Um, so we'll probably do about a game, uh, an episode per month, like normal. Um, let's see here. I honestly don't know. I kind of want to put a few episodes in here. But I also kind of want to show you games that will probably at least have a chance of winning. Because <laughs> those might be more interesting. Uh, we'll probably come back for like the RC Lens and EA Gwen Gap. Obviously, EA Gwen Gap came up with us. Um, so we know we can beat them. We'll come back for this two games. I know they're low ranked teams. If we start winning and start playing better than I thought we would, uh, maybe we'll do something different. But for now, we'll come back for probably the RC Lens, EA Gwen Gap, or maybe the EA Gwen Gap Bordeaux, something like that. Uh, definitely feature one of these two home games and then whatever away game I decide to feature on the other side of that. So don't expect much from this Paris SG game. I expect to have two more losses before. We come back for sure, maybe a draw or something like that. So we might be able to pick up one point between now and the time that you guys see next. So we'll find out. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.